It's well overdue a multi-board update, so let's do it. So first and foremost, what's been going on? The foundational update has happened. And what exactly is the foundational update? We're basically strengthening the integrity of the entirety of the multi-board system before we go and do a huge update, which is the multi-point update, which I'll give you a little teaser of it later on in this video. So this foundational update, what exactly does it entail? All of the mid threads have been updated. Now, don't worry, compatibility has not been broken. However, for all of you that have been wanting a mid thread that doesn't slip, it's done. It now no longer slips, and we've done it in a way that doesn't break compatibility. But just know that if you're wanting the strongest version for things that don't slip, the newest push fit hole and the newest thread are the best connection. The new thread, so the new bolt into an old hole, is still better than what it was but just know that that has all now been updated. Other things that's happened is a very small update to all of the bins. They now have this through hole up at the top and the bottom, which lets you put in these little pins to hold a base or an extension a lot better. Now, this was the way that I was going to do it originally, and then I decided I wasn't gonna do it because I don't want to change the outside of how the bins look and all of that, but um, Saiken, did a remix and made me see the light and that is the right way to do it because it is now this easy to put these pins in really quickly and it's also this easy to take them back out and they just work so great. It's something that I've got to remember that I always go for function over form with multi-board because that's how we get all of this amazing feature creep for all of these great features. Now, the other thing is the design status of a whole bunch of things have changed. Now, if you have no idea what the design status is over in the remix section of the multi-board website, I've let you know every single part how sort of changeable it is, if it is it gonna change, what's gonna happen to it, and we're gonna put the small thread, the mid thread, and the large thread all into late beta, which means it's really not likely that we're going to be changing them at all. And the actual tile itself is getting locked in. We are no longer going to change the tile. But with all of this, there's something else that's come from the update, which is we've realized that bolt locking is overpowered. Now, if you have no idea what bolt locking is, here we have a nice little push fit bracket and we've got a snap here. When you put a snap onto a push fit like this and that push fit has a thread behind it, if you put a bolt behind that, that is now no longer coming off at all. Then when you take that bolt off from the back, it is super easy to come off. The whole idea of that right there, that is bolt locking something into place. And it is really powerful, especially now that we've got the directional weight bearing snap is out of early access and it is now available for everyone. It is now the new sort of recommended snap because this here, when you put it onto a tile, that takes a lot more weight this way compared to a normal snap. And if you bolt lock it, it is a lot more weight, about eight times more weight. So really worth looking into. Now with that, we decided, well, if bolt locking is really that good, surely we should turn this into a mounting option. And we have. We have brought bolt locking to VHB tape. We've also brought it to command strips and we've also brought it to actually screwing it into the wall. Now it does have pros and cons and I wanna show you all of it, but first let me just quickly show you how we install these because they're a little bit strange. Though these are the bolt locking mount offsets. When you actually put them in, you'll see that you can't actually get to where you'd put in a screw. So we had to create a specific installation tool to help with that, which is this little thing. It's an offset installation. You snap it into a board, then you put the offset on it, you screw it into place. That gives you now enough space to go in with a pen to be able to mark where those screws would go. I wanna show you an entire time lapse right now of me putting this up. I'm gonna give you some close ups as well, right this minute of me putting it all up. It is a little bit of a hassle, and there are some good pros and some big cons. The Good pro is it incredibly flexible. You can remove a tile at any point 
anywhere in the system depending how you've done the DS snaps on this and it does need to be DS. DS remember it means it's the double sided snap so the part B and the part A coming from both sides snap sandwiching it in. If you're using a, a normal snap you need to use this little washer to give it that offset on behind if not when you're pushing these in they're just going to pop right out. So let me show you how easy it is to take it off but just keep in mind that the big negative of this is that you have to use a lot more screws to get this up on the wall but I've already got one here that I've actually taken out almost all of the bolts with. You take one of these out here um, as I've done just there and now I'm going to have to wiggle it out. Now the reason why I have to wiggle it out is because I wasn't perfectly accurate with this. I want it to be as real world as possible. Do it as quick as I can and just for reality sakes I'm going to show you how much of a pain, not of a pain it is to take it out. So I pull it out here. I pull it out of this top one. I have to wiggle it out to get it out. I'm going to pull it out of this bottom one here. Then I'm going to have to wiggle out this bottom one here and that is this tile now out. I can go to the back of it really quickly and easily, add a bolt lock to it, bolt something completely to it. I can now get to whatever was behind here. I can straight up change the tile that was there. I can then get another bolt to just screw that tile into place. And that is now in place there. That's not gonna come off. Of course, it's not supported right there, but that's fine. So I'll change it back. I'll take this bolt out of there. I'll take that tile off. And then once I take that tile off, I can grab this again. Remember, I haven't been super accurate, so I have to give it a bit of a thud to get it really in. And then once it's really in, I can get myself a bolt, go to one of the bolt lock offsets here, screw that in. I've only done it to one, and then that's held in place. Now, what's really interesting is that all of these outer ones, I've done them as single tiles. So all of these are single DS snaps. However, this four section here, this is actually all connected with one giant DS snap. And I'll show you a quick little clip now of me just taking that completely off as one whole thing. Again, I had to figure, nagle things about because it's gonna get caught up if you haven't put these things perfectly, perfectly in place. But that there is the functional update. Functional? Foundational. The functional update is another one that you'll be interested in later on, but that is the foundational update in a nutshell. We have touched 90% of the system, updated it up, cleaned it up, really pulled everything together because what's coming next is insane, truly crazy. And here is a tiny little teaser, this image right there. There is so much more coming with multipoint. It is going to change the way you look at multiboard bins, storage, everything. And remember, what you're seeing right here won't even need a tile if you want it to put on the wall. All right, that there, that is the multiboard update in a nutshell. There's so much coming. Thank you so much for all of your support. Remember that if you wanna be the first to figure out what exactly is going on, it's all linked down in the description. So go sign up to get notified as well as a full change log that goes in a lot more detail. It is down there too. Thank you for watching and keep making.